Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our Z-Roll. So today we're gonna to be doing something special. We're gonna be making one of our favorite desserts and we're really excited about it. Not only is it one of our favorite desserts, but it's also from the Disney Cruise Line. So check it out. So we are going to make the chocolate souffle and also the vanilla sauce that goes with it. You find this actually in the restaurant Paulo inside the Disney Cruise. It's we, so it's good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> and the reason why we decided to do this is because we were watching some of our Disney vlogs from a little bit ago and we're kind of getting excited for our next cruise coming up, which yeah. more to come on that. Um, so we're like, you know what, let's do this. Let's get excited about it. Bring a little and taste of the cruise. Bring a little taste home. of the cruise, yeah. <laughs> You know, it kind of helps the whole waiting period, I think. Yeah. So, um, but how you find this recipe um, is if you've been on a cruise before, um, you are a member of the Castaway Key Club, and you actually can find this on the Disney Cruise website. So you actually go to the Disney Cruise website, and you'll go to the tab that says Already Booked, and go all the way down to Castaway Club. Click on that guy. You are going to go to Downloads at the very bottom where it says Castaway Club, click on Downloads, and then there you'll see three different recipes. There's the conch cooler, um, the chocolate souffle, and the vanilla sauce. You can also find this on Google too if you're not part of the club, um, but it's nice because these are, you know, downloadable, ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we, I'm not a cook. Lacey's a really good cook. Um, so, but we've never done this before. Yeah, this and is the fanciest dessert. It, it is the fanciest we've dessert. Ever made. Besides we've our ever made. you know chocolate popcorn, that was pretty fancy. We've done that. <laughs> yeah. So without further ado, let's let's get it going. So the first thing we gotta do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then we need to boil some water in a kettle. So now what we need to do is bring a cup of milk to a boil. Bam, just like that. Um, this is really intense. Like, see, we're in the directions and we're like, what are we doing right now? <laughs> so, the directions say to butter your souffle dishes. And again, we're not like chefs. Well, it's we're, kind of vague. It's like melt. I mean, it doesn't say melted well, butter. I guarantee you, most people who bake know exactly what that means. Okay. Butter I'm that. thinking buttering means you just get a stick of butter and you just go to town inside these dishes. By the way, we got these dishes from Costco. They actually came from a dessert. Yeah. Yeah. They were, and they like, they're awesome. They were like a dessert you buy, and then they had these like. It was like a little souffle. I it think. was a little yeah. souffle. But, but we're like, whoa, be they're pretty nice. You gotta keep them. So if this is not what you're supposed to do, some of you may make fun of us, and that's okay. But we'll find out shortly if that's what we're supposed to do. But I'm pretty sure. Is this right? I think so. Yeah, I hope so. Nobody knows. I mean, you may. We don't. <laughs> dust it. And then we dust it. With sugar. Just like that, I think. We're gonna say, that's dusting. Fairy dust, right there. The milk is done boiling, so we probably should back that down. <laughs> Milk's going to town. So now we gotta melt three tablespoons of butter. Got the water boiling, the milk boiling, and the butter melting. There's a lot going on with this recipe. Yeah, there is a lot going on with this recipe. Okay. And fairy dusted, buttered, and then you need this premium cocoa. Natural and Dutch blend. The recipe calls for Dutch process cocoa. So. <clears throat> okay. We'll see. This is out of our element, guys. We are far up out of our element. All right, so we're gonna add three tablespoons of flour and then three tablespoons of cocoa to the melted butter. The oven is ready. Oven is ready. All right. By the way, we're using whole wheat flour. But you can use whatever flour you want. Lacey does better with whole wheat flour in her stomach. There's the cocoa. No, like it has to be a smooth paste-like consistency. I think we probably should have waited for the butter to be completely melted, is what I'm thinking because it looks like a bunch of turds, to be honest. <laughs> Should we start over? So let's just, let's put this away, let's throw this away. This 
So we didn't wait for the butter this to melt. This shows impatience. Yeah. Right there. So this is impatience is patience. <laughs> so this is like, yeah, we didn't wait for the butter to melt. And this is, we did wait for it to melt and then we added the ingredients. So you definitely need to make sure the butter is completely melted. <laughs> Guys, we do this for you. So mm -hmm. you know how to do this. Reduce heat and cook for one minute. Slowly pour the hot milk, or the milk we just boiled, to this mixture. And whisk it. And whisk it good. That's looking good. Really good. Oh, look at the consistency. Alright, so now we're putting in the chocolate, semi sweet chocolate, inside the mix that we've already made. Okay, we've added in the chocolate, so we just have to let it cool for five minutes. So, while we're waiting for the five minutes to cool, the next step is beating our egg whites until it's frothy. And we already separated our eggs because we're using the yolk in the other pan. There's a lot of pans going on. A lot of dishes, a lot of pans, a lot of things. I don't know what it means. Like whisk until it's froth, frothy. <laughs> whisk until it's bubbly. So now we're gonna add six tablespoons of sugar into the frothy egg whites. <laughs> Slowly add sugar one tablespoon at a time until stiff glossy peaks form. What the heck? Until is that? stiff glossy, glossy peaks, peaks form. form. We're gonna figure this out, guys. Oh my gosh. So I'm here so we go. Scared. One, two, three. Are those the peaks? I don't know what peaks are. So they're they're forming what they call peaks, I guess. Stir a heaping spoonful of egg white mixture into the chocolate. Okay, so now we're gonna fill the souffle dishes. It doesn't say how how full you fill them, so I'm just gonna do them until they're like three fourths of the way. So I feel like three fourths is always a good cooking measurement. <laughs> Looks pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Now we have to put them inside a dish, a cooking dish, it goes in the oven, um, like this, and we gotta fill this pan up with, boiling, with water. boiling water. And it says enough to reach halfway up the cup. So now that's what exactly what you're gonna do. So hopefully we boil enough water. And about halfway up we go, which is about right there. So now we just bake this for 20 minutes. Go. Okay, so now we're going to make the vanilla sauce and we need a one and one fourth of heavy whipping cream. Okay, so we need one fourth of a vanilla bean split lengthwise. I've we never cooked <laughs> vanilla beans. Yeah, I've eaten it. But we're gonna cook it tonight. It's actually my first time buying vanilla beans. It took me forever to find them. This little guy was like nine dollars, so. Probably gonna taste so good. Hopefully. I hope it tastes good. It'd be a bummer if it just tastes like burnt rubber. Oh, it smells so good. Smell that. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, it's good. so fresh. Okay, and then we gotta split it lengthwise. Like this, I'm assuming. Looks like vanilla bean ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Never used that before. Okay, so now we have two egg yolks and we're supposed to add three tablespoons of sugar okay. for the vanilla um, mixture. Okay, we're adding two spoonfuls of the vanilla bean heavy whipping cream whatever into the egg and sugar. One. And then we stir that together. And then we take all of this and put it back into the pan. Again. So mm -hmm. many A lot of how stuff do, back and forth. How do they come up? Like how do you come up with this? Really good. I'm just baffled yeah. by just like how you have to separate the egg yolk on certain things and when you don't, when you do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll pour it back in here and then just so it's 
Now once the egg and sugar is back in with the heavy whipping cream and the vanilla bean, then you just stir and cook for five minutes. And hopefully we'll have some good vanilla sauce. So now we have to stir consistently for about three to four minutes on low to get no, that vanilla done. sauce, and that's done. So uh, we still have about 10 minutes or so until the souffle is done. Hopefully vanilla sauce turns out great and we'll get back to you and we'll actually taste it and see if we did a good job. And then we'll talk to you if we'll ever do it again. So get back with you in just a bit. The vanilla sauce is done, it looks really good. And this is done too. Whoa, oh, it's hot. It looks really good, babe. How? I don't know. Mm. These look really good. Okay guys, so um, everything looks really, really good. They look so pretty. Look really pretty. Um, we have the vanilla sauce. And you can kind of see the little beans in there. Little vanilla beans. And these look really good. That's really hot. So I think it, that looks, that looks right. With the untrained eye, it looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and taste them independently, and then we're gonna taste them together. It's hot, it's, I think the texture's good. Yeah. Did you burn your mouth? No, but it's really good. Mm. You agree? That is so good. Yeah, it's really good, the texture's like perfect. Yep. This is by far the fanciest thing we've ever made in our entire lives. And while we were making uh, making it, I was like, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> but it's so good. Maybe for special... Special occasions. A special occasion. Yeah, Lacey's like, there's no way I'm ever doing this again. So you mean you'll do this again? Maybe. Like a New Year's Eve or anniversary or something. Well, New Year's Eve is coming up. I know. You guys, you have to try it. Yeah. It's really good. Is it as good oh. as the cruises? No. No, because we had to make it. Right. Honestly, but it's still really good. It was kind of stressful, and like the things it was telling us to do and what to do with. Like I'm like I don't know what any of this yeah. means, so we we're just flopping together. It tastes super similar though, because we've had them yeah. before on the cruise, and oh no, it really does. It's really good. Yeah, I want to taste the okay. vanilla sauce now. So here goes the vanilla independently. Yeah, it's good. That's really good. Mmm. Yummy. I'm almost supposed to get a little bit more vanilla. And we added more than what they said. Yeah. It's still really, oh man, that's really good. I'm gonna put it on my soup. Yeah. Bike. All right, now let's try this. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That's so good. That's really good. I mean, it tastes great, just the chocolate souffle. But the vanilla does oh, add man. a lot to it. I'm putting way, like a ton of vanilla in there. Yeah, it does. It's really good. The vanilla bean makes a difference. It does. Yeah. It was it's good. Really good. I think the thing that I learned from this though is like how much I'm gonna appreciate more of like the this kind of food when we go on the cruise because there's so much that yeah. goes into it. It's crazy. And I know they have it down to a T but I'm just like, wow, like actually making it ourselves, it kind of makes it special in that mm -hmm. way, just like yeah. when we do eat it on the cruise, we're like, kind of know a little bit of what goes into it. They definitely have the commercial hardware to do this rather than our stuff, but I think we pretty much fun. used everything we had in our kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Babe, this is good. It is really good. You've already eaten all yours. I know. I Same honestly, way. I can't get over it. This is really good. I'm not just saying that, this is amazing. You guys gotta try this. Yeah. So anyway, um, this, this is the kind of things we like to do as we're kind of counting down for our cruise. Um, we'll talk more about our itinerary, things like that later, but we hope you enjoyed, um, this recipe. Um, guys, if we can do it, you totally, <laughs> totally can do it. Honestly, seriously. Yeah. I think we'll do it again, even though we were saying we wouldn't do it again. Yeah. After tasting this, it's like, yeah, it's, it's going to happen. It's yeah. very good. It is. Um, it probably took us about what? 45 minutes? Yeah. -ish. All together? Because it took like 20 minutes to cook, so. I feel like it'll happened. probably take us more like 30 minutes next time. Right. Because we'll know what we're we doing We had to more. redo one step. Yeah. So, 
Anyway, hope you guys like this video. Um, this is kind of something you normally don't really do cooking videos, but yeah. we've done a couple of them this last <laughs> week, so it's kind of fun. But uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like this video, ring the bell as well. Um, we uh, just thank you guys for being here. We love you guys so much, and have an amazing week. Bye. See you guys.